Hi, it's Kathy Schmidt, the Backyard Stamper, and I'm bringing you today another beautiful daisy card using the Cheerful Daisy Set. Um, this card here is going to be a bay window card. So it, it um, is shaped like that and stands up very, very nicely. If you remember um, last week, I did a bay window card featuring the season of chic. And I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to do one with the daisies. So let's get started. I'm using the paper um, called Countryside Inn. This paper I'm in love with, with all the blues. So you, you, I'm using this pattern here today, but I'll show you another card I made using the birds. And the back, the back of them are um, beautiful. If you don't like the, the print on the front or you don't want birds or foxes on it, um, you've got all sorts of different country themed blue patterns to choose from. This paper is absolutely gorgeous and I love it. So that's what we're gonna use today. And there, um, this paper has four colors in it. It's um, Balmy Blue, Boho Blue, Misty Moonlight, and Night of Navy. So I'm going to use the Misty Moonlight for my card base. And Actually, I'm using Boho Blue, and I'll show you another card I did using the Misty Moonlight. <laughs> okay, so you can tell I have been making cards because I'm getting my colors all mixed up. So I've got a piece of 8.5 by 11 that I've cut um, at 4 and a quarter, and we're going to score this at... Sorry, make sure I'm in the camera... We're gonna score it at five eighths, two and a quarter, three and seven eighths, and five and a half. That's going to give us our bay window. So what I'm gonna do is burnish on these lines. And they all get folded in, except for the little 5 eighths inch tab. That one gets folded back, and I'll show you why when we go to um, make our mechanism. So that's the shape of the bay window. And next we're going to take our uh, designer series paper, which I've already pre-cut, and I put it somewhere safe. <laughs> you know what that's like. Okay, well, I know it's here because I just cut it. Oh, I got it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I've got four uh, strips of the blues and the leaves go up. So there is a slight direction to this pattern or this paper. So I'm going to, what I've done is I've cut these at four by one and three eighths. And, the, and I also have an extra strip of the boho blue and that is four and a half by one and five eighths. And I'll show you why I needed that. So let me get my Tombow. And I'm going to glue these pieces on and I'm leaving myself 
um, a little border of the boho showing all the way around. If you cut it at four inches, um, it makes a little bit bigger of a margin, but you actually will get more cards that way. In my original one, I think I went four and an eighth, and then, you know, it's 12 by 12 paper, so you lose out on that, that last um, strip. So I just went at four inches and with a bigger margin, and it works out pretty good. This last piece here is a half an inch strip. Um, this is five eighths, so this piece here is three eighths by four. So just a narrow little strip. And it gets hidden anyways, it's just for when the card is um, before it's opened by the recipient. Because this bay window card fits into a four, uh, a regular size envelope because um, it lays flat when it's mailed. Now this piece also gets, I feel like I've got two there. That seems thick, but this is also four and a quarter by one and five eighths. So I have one extra of my strips and I'm gonna put that right there. And this is gonna form my um, mechanism to, to um, hold this little flap in. For the inside, I've got a four by five and a quarter piece. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay that in. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take this piece here and I am going to put some dimensionals. But what you wanna do is make sure you don't go past the halfway mark. So I'm going to be a little heavy handed with my dimensionals and just go ahead and peel the backs off. This card comes together so quickly, and um, it's always a little surprise for the recipient. And that's gonna butt up right on the side, the top and the bottom, okay? So because I left that little um, halfway point, my little tabs can slide right under. So there's my bay window all ready to go. All right, we'll set that aside for just a minute. Let me bring my sample back in, clean up my little dimensional backings. Okay, so what, um, what I'm gonna do now is I need to do my die cutting. This stamp set has the most gorgeous daisy dies. And what I do is I really like the white daisy with, um, it's got lemon lolly in the centers of them. So the easiest way that I did it is cut a half a sheet of cardstock and I ran it all through the die cutting at the same time. So I have all my pieces here And so what I did was I laid out my, my big piece here, this one, this one, this one. So basically everything I need to build my layered daisy and my tag. So I ran that through the die cutting machine and got all my pieces. And actually I've run it through so many times. I have a little bucket of crafty goodness here. And um, 
I can still run this extra through and get extra leaves and centers and everything I need. And here's a sheet I did like as much as possible on there. <laughs> so I have my little bucket here of extra pieces and I can make lots of daisies now. All right, let's put together my my pieces here under my my mat and we'll just kind of build as we go that's for my tag these are my um that's my main piece and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut off this leaf right there it kind of hangs out there a little too far away for the, from the flower. So that's why I like to cut it off. And let me look at all my pieces here. So that is going to go under. I've cut already some extra leaves and centers. So we'll be all ready for those. All right. And then this one is going to go under there. That goes on top. This goes on top here, and that one goes under like that. And this little piece, I just had one little one that hadn't punched out yet, is going to go there. So by keeping it all white, it's um, really very elegant looking. All right, so to get started, I'm going to use some dimensionals. And I'm going to put a dimensional in the center of the flowers and on this little top blossom. And that's all I'm going to use to hold um, this die cut piece to the bottom solids. And you can see that the, the daisy has like a shorter side and then a longer petal side so you just find where it matches up and it doesn't need to be exact because it actually looks a little bit more organic when it's a little slightly off if you can stand that i know it's hard <laughs> i have to force myself sometimes to let it be crooked um, on the paper because i really like to line everything up <laughs> Then for the next piece, I'm going to use my um, fine tip glue pen and just put on a little tiny bit of glue near the top piece so that the bottoms are stay loose and very organic. Okay, like that. And the last one right here is, so the dies cut and emboss um, the pieces of the daisy. So if you can see the little embossing there and the fine detail cutting it's spectacular. Okay, so that's our daisy. Let's let that kind of set up. And I want to do my leaves. Now, what I did was I did my center with lemon lolly. And my card base is Misty Moonlight. And what I wanted was... Um, a green for the leaves. And so what I looked at was uh, my color coach that I made. And this is, um, so I, I looked up Parakeet Party has uh, Lemon Lolly and Pool Party, Par um, Balmy Blue, Boho Blue, so it's definitely in with this color scheme here. So let me, 
just get my inks out. This lemon lolly is, I'm going to save this for um, another piece. And the lemon lolly is such a beautiful yellow. We have been needing a nice yellow. I love, I loved pineapple punch, but it was bright. And I love um, daffodil delight, but it's a little bit um, of a darker yellow, like kind of almost got brownish tones to it. This is really a beautiful yellow. So I'm going to just stamp my centers and stamp right over that. And like that. I hope everybody's had a nice Mother's Day. Um, I did and I spent the day in my garden and then went over to my mom and dad's and had pizza with them. It was really a nice day. This is the parakeet party and I'm going to do that for my leaves. So what I'm going to do is just stamp over my die cuts. It's kind of the opposite way that I do it, but it works. And it doesn't really matter if it's off because we can trim them down. I need five leaves, so I don't want to get my head in the camera. So I am not worrying too much about whether I'm on or not. This guy here needs a kind of a good size trim job. Let's put do that right off there. The rest of them and maybe this one too. See how easy it is to just kind of fix it if it doesn't die cut exactly right. Okay, so I've got those stamped and then for my last stamping I want to use, oh, I've got two more things to stamp because I forgot about my inside too. So I have my Misty Moonlight for my tag and I'm going to use the wishing you a, the brightest birthday let me just test that nice and there we go and then for my inside I'm also going to stamp using my misty moonlight and this one says your friendship means everything do that like that and I am going to stamp a little daisy inside and what I'm going to use for that is oh, let me get that out of the way I've got my daisy and I just need one little stamp here that I forgot to get out from my set. This little center guy. So all I'm going to do is ink that up in the lemon lolly and put it kind of close by that. And then I'm going to stamp my center right there. Isn't that pretty? So soft. All right, so now we are done with our stamping. Now we just have to use our dimensionals. Oh, I have one other thing. So I used um, the Stitched with Whimsy dies and that um, these do not cut out, they just add stitching. So what I did was I took a two and five eighths, let me make sure, yep, two and five eighths square, 
and I put my little posty tape on, ran it through, and look at that nice stitching that I got. So I'm going to do that. Now, on my first sample, I put it this way. And, I mean, it's okay, no problem, but I, I just didn't feel like it showed enough interest with that. So I went ahead and I turned it this way. Now, a lot more of the stitching is going to show. You have to be careful where you put your dimensionals because of the bay window part. So I'm going to put them top to bottom and then just a smidge to the outside of the line there. And that way they will be stay on my center panel like that. So I'm just kind of eyeballing center of this middle panel and leaving about the same amount of room top to bottom. And you wanna make sure that these sides are not stuck down and they're not. So now I'm going to kind of make my arrangement. I wanna make sure I have enough room for my saying. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop that up. That way I don't run out of room, which I did on another one and I'll show you what I had to do. So I just put my dimensionals um, to the left side of my saying because the right side is going to kind of float off of that. So I'm going to do that. And then my, my daisy's going to come like that, but I really wanted um, one of my leaves to kind of tuck over that a little bit. So what I'm going to do is, let's see, did I dimensional those? I did not dimensional. I put them on with glue. So let's do this. Let's put our centers on. And I used glue for some of the centers. And popped up the big center there. And it's so easy, just use, you know, put your dimensional right in the center of the daisy. There's no big lining up that you gotta worry about because it all works. Then for the leaves, let me bring my glue mat in. I've got the, um, so let's see here. I just need one under this side a little bit. And then I need two down here. So I'm going to do just a little bit of glue and stick that under and then do the next leaf and put that under there. And then I'm going to have two leaves over here. This is my little shorty one, so I want to put that um, let's do this one a little bit on top of that to hide so much of the white where I missed my, a little bit. Sorry, I'm all butter fingers and I got now I got everything sticking. <laughs> okay, like that. And like that. The silicone mat is such a lifesaver. <laughs> okay, so we'll go ahead and set that aside. Actually, we're going to go ahead and put it right on our card. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to just add some glue. And I stayed pretty much in the center because I don't. I'm gonna have some of them hanging off. And see how I wanted 
like just a little bit of that leaf coming over the top of that, just a smidge. Like that. And make sure nothing is stuck. You got a little tiny bit of glue right there that might stick if I don't wipe it up. All right, that looks good. Look how easy this came together. Okay, now, of course we need to add some bling bling. And that is going to be, I've got some Wink Estella. And this looks so pretty when you just pretty much color every all these little pieces of the, um, the detail part of the daisy. My Wink Estella is a new one, so it is really glittery. I love it. I love this pen. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the centers. And I'm going to add some to my leaves, too. Because who doesn't like a real glittery daisy? And now I want to add, my last thing to add are some rhinestones and use my take your pick tool and I'm going to put a little one here and then a medium one on the side here. I like to put my rhinestones near my popped up thing. It helps protect them in the envelope when they're, you're mailing. So that's my little tip for you, is keep them close to where you've got a dimensional and they won't um, poke through. So there you have it. There is my beautiful Winkastella Daisy Bay Window card. Let me show you some others that I made. So, put that away. All right, so this is the one we just made in this one here. Now, this one, I used that pe those leaves that I cut off. And this one, I didn't punch out the center. See that? And the same with this one. So one side's got the center punched out and the other side doesn't. I liked that little effect. So I have that. I'll stand that one up so you can see what it looks like. This is another one I made. And um, to, this is the one that I did the square um, straight on instead of turning it on the diagonal. And um, this card is a lot of, it's, it's almost a little bit too dark. But I did the leaves in balmy blue to keep, it with the paper and I thought that was really fun and so that one looks like that and here's the one I made last week using the season of chic I mean these cards just come together so easily and here's one of my daisy cards that I made to show you before so lots and lots of samples. This card, my friend Anne made, and she used the daisies with the country in paper and the country in dyes. So um, I'm gonna do a video with these here, but it's a nested set of dyes that gradually, you know, comes in or goes out equally. So you can do lots of layering, but See how nice Anne used the paper? It's gorgeous. And this is the Night of Navy, one of the other colors, and the Misty Moonlight, and the Lemon Lolly in the center. All right, so that's it. I do have a host code for this month. And um, I appreciate it if you like, share, and follow. It really helps my channel. 
and anyone that orders this month using the host code will receive a special gift from me to say thank you. My online store is kathyschmidt.stampinup.net and my email is backyardstamper at gmail.com. If you have any questions about this card or any cards you've seen, please let me know. Thanks for watching. See you soon.